Now once you understand how you can work with static and server side rendering, let's take a look at the client side data fetching. The client side fetching is useful when your page doesn't require SEO indexing, when you don't need to pre-render your data or when the content of your page needs to update frequently. Unlike the server side rendering APIs, you can use client side data fetching at the component level. So just for the example, if you back to your post, first post component, here I can create a simple client side data fetching. So let me just close all these files and now inside this layout, let's suppose that if I get rid of this H1 and this image and then I'm going to get the data from the post variable. So I'm going to say here post dot title and then I'm going to create a paragraph and say here post dot description and then I'm going to create this post variable inside this component. So at the top here, I'm simply going to say constant in the array, we pass post and set post is equal to, and then I'm going to pass here use state react hook. So at the top, we need to import that first. So I'm going to say here import use state from react. And then I'm going to pass here use state. The default value is null. Just out of that, I'm going to create here a constant variable is loading and set loading is equal to use state is going to be false. Just out of that, I'm using use effect hook to execute and fetch the data whenever this component render. So just out of this use state, I'm going to say here use effect and then i'm going to call here use effect hook so i'm going to say use effect like this return a callback function and then i'm going to say here set loading this set loading variable this is going to be now true and inside this use effect i'm going to get the data from the server as you know i don't have any server right now so instead of getting the data from the server i'm going to copy an object and pass that to this set post so here I'm going to say set post and inside that I'm going to pass an object and just for that I'm going to say here set loading is going to be false now what I want I want to make some delay to send this request to the browser what I'm going to do is at the top here I'm going to create a function and name this function sleep I'm going to pass here millisecond a parameter and then I'm going to return a new promise. And inside this promise, I'm going to return a parameter called resolve like this. And then I'm going to say set timeout resolve comma millisecond. And now I'm going to use this function to make some delay to this request. So right here, I'm going to say sleep for three seconds so i'm going to pass here 3000 dot then and inside this then inside this then function i'm going to grab and pass these statements like this let me just add here a command make some delay using slip function now just for that let me just save these changes back to my layout and let me just change this head so if i just pass here d something like this then this will just decrease the size of this title back to the first post save this file as well just out of that to this use effect we pass a dependency so we pass here comma and we pass empty dependencies here so we pass here empty square bracket after that before this return statement at the top here i'm going to say if is loading is true then return a paragraph with loading message and if we don't have post then return a paragraph with no data available message something like this let me save this back to my browser and here i need to just specify post forward slash first post and i press enter i'm going to get here a message no data available and then i'm going to have my data what's going on here 
Now what I want, I want to print the loading message instead of this no data available. So instead of specifying this loading, set loading true inside this sleep function, we pass that outside of this sleep function right up here. Something like this. Now let me save the changes and show you the result. Let me save the changes and you can see I'm going to have here a message loading. Let me show you that once again. When I reload the browser, I'm going to get this loading message. And when the data is loaded successfully after three seconds, I'm going to get that data as a response. So we fetch this data using client side rendering. This technique is what we call the client side fetching. You probably know this technique in React, but this technique is not useful when you require SEO indexing. So if you want to get the data from the API, you can use get static props function. So I hope you understand how you can fetch the data with different techniques in Next.js.